Good morning, everybody. I know it's been a while, and I apologize. Work and mental illness and a lot of things have stopped me from making a video. So today, we got a double feature. I got eight songs instead of my usual like four or five planned. I was thinking about stopping at seven, as that's the number of completion. But, you know, I, something told me not to. In fact, there was one song in today's lineup that I didn't want to do because I wasn't comfortable with it. But God, I think really pressed on my heart that I needed to get it done, so I did it. But, um, anyways, it's good to see you guys again. Uh, my first couple of songs I've never done before on these videos. Um, sometimes I have a habit of repeating songs because they fit what I'm talking about, or they, they fit together, and I want to do, I want to, I, I just want to see how that's going to go. But this one is a, reminds me of my old pastor, Bo Boyle, and I'll, Try to share this with him later. Um, where's my pick? Um, and and I really wish I had a quartet to do this with. And so you're gonna, if I have the technology, I do like kind of what what Weird Al does, and 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 he will record himself four or five times to get the the sound. Um, I can't do that. I don't have that kind of software or, or hardware. So you're gonna have to deal with me. But just think of this as a both a fun and and kind of a a blessing song. So. Uh, here we, here we go. Um, you know, I, well, yeah, the, this song, and a lot, there's a lot like it. Um, and then once again, I had to stop myself from doing like 10,000 different songs because, um, I could go on all day. I really could. I could, I could probably give you like a 10 or 12 hour video and it wouldn't bother me. I could just play and play and play. Um, cause a lot of these songs... I mean, every music needs practice, but some of these songs I just love, and they just flow out of me, so, but, um, but yeah, here's a song I wish, again, I had a, I had three other, three or four other guys for. Let's see. That's weary, tending the Lord of death. Are you a soul that's seeking rest from the burden you bear? Have you heard that He loves you and that He will abide till the end? Where is your heart, O pilgrim? What does your life Here's your call for comfort when not but sorrow you feel. Do you know, my Jesus? Do you know, my friend? Have you heard? Understands your heart aches, and who dries the tears from your eyes? Do you know, my Jesus? Do you know, my friend?
and that he will abide till the end. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard, Have you heard that he loves? Again, I wish I had a, a quartet of guys to help me with that one, because that would have sounded really good with actual four-part harmony. Um, uh, coffee, because it's early. Um, my wife has the I Love You with Princess Leia on it. And we're, we're, nerd, we're Christians, but we're nerdy. Um, kind of Trying to catch me faithful and nerdy. Uh, okay, I'll let Weird Al stick to parodies. Um, speaking of... My kids have fallen in love with his music. And I like him. He's clean and he's funny. His songs are just for fun. They're a little goofy and weird, but eh, so am I. Um, so are we, you know, as a family. So um, I'm, I've been practicing some of his songs for my kids' birthdays and stuff because they all want Weird Al songs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hilarious. It really is. Um, this one, this next song is an old favorite of mine, but it's not in my current church's hymn book. And we were, were doing a study in, in the adults on this school class about how we're also sit, how we're citizens of heaven when we become a Christian. And it's funny, and I love it. And this world is not my home, or this world is not your home, is a phrase they use again and again and again and again. And actually, I looked it up. I don't think I've done this one. At least I don't, I don't think I have. Maybe I could... I don't know. I've done so many of these videos. I've done over 50 of them. And even though I have it all written down and I check the notes, it's hard to remember each instance of each song. But, um... And I try not to repeat too much because that's boring. But... Anyway, let's see. This is just a fun song. I love to sing. It's got a lot of energy, which is weird because I don't, so I guess it's God. <laughs> um, so yeah, here, give a listen to one of my old favorite hymns and... I don't, it doesn't even tell me on this page who when it was written. I don't even know how old it is. But it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Anyways. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can feel at home in this world. a lot of fun um 
These next bunches of songs, I'm actually going to get set up a little bit while I talk, are a lot of them are by Ron Hamilton, and they're in they, one of the hymn books his company produces, um, which, as I've talked about before, I really like his music. I grew up listening to the children's audio dramas of Patch the Pirate. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I, uh, I really like them. And, and the kid will be the servant. And one of the things, one of the principles Christians are supposed to believe, they don't always act like it, which really upsets me, is to be a servant to others. You, you know, you, if you want to get, you got to give. If you want to be happy, you got to give stuff away, you know. Give to others. If you give, you'll never lack what you need. Or, what, you know, what you want. You, you will be happy and content doing things that the world would say is the opposite of what you should do. Um, and it doesn't make sense a lot of times. It really doesn't. And I am really upset with how my framing is this time. I lost my pedestal for my camera here, but oh well. Sorry, guys. But yeah, you got, yeah, you, uh, you know, it, the Bible says Christians are supposed to be a peculiar people. Oh, yeah, we're peculiar, all right. We, we talk and teach all this stuff, and we don't live a lick of it. That's not the peculiar God wants us to be. He wants us to be different. You don't drink. You don't smoke. You don't want to do drugs. Wow, that's amazing. How, how, how do you cope? Jesus. And I'll, I'm the first one to say it, it is really hard a lot of times to act like I got confidence in a supreme God. It really is. There is so much despair and hopelessness in this world, and that's why the, the message and meaning of the songs that I sing mean means so much to me. But, um... And I got I got a couple of songs to help de deal with that today. But these next couple of songs are what I want to be. I, I talked a little bit... Well, I made a Facebook post about how my favorite title of being a church music leader, not music leader or music director or head of music, but or worship leader, which I don't understand that title. It's got nothing to do with music. If you say, say, oh, he's a worship leader, I'm going to assume that's just a new name for pastor or shepherd or whatever you... I mean, that that's what that says to me. So I don't get it. I mean, you lead the worship in song, but the pastor's usually one in charge of the worship service. So, But that's me. I'm old-fashioned. I'm crazy. But my favorite title for a music guy in church is Minister of Music. Because if you can use music to minister to people, it's more than being proficient in music. It, it's about helping people. It's about blessing people. It's, and it's a heavy responsibility. Something that can be misused or, or misapplied to so many things. You know? Um, hang on a second. trying to get my computer ready to upload these videos to my my albums on YouTube and Facebook. Um, and it's being really slow. So, yeah. Um, but anyways. Let's see if we can... Uh, this, so this is my cry. This is my, my desire. Um, because, and, and again, in giving away, you actually get more. You get, maybe, maybe not, it's not always a material thing. But maybe peace and contentment. Maybe peace and contentment in spite of not having material things. And that is so important. Being happy with what you have. I, I, I hate to say this, but I struggle with that. It maybe has a lot to do with, with when I was homeless and I, I'm, I'm paranoid and scared. I don't want to be that way again. But, um... And I, I try to recapture some of the things I had as a child, and maybe that's wrong. Because I need to be happy with what I have, and even though I'm frustrated sometimes with our living conditions, at least we have living conditions. Thank God our... I'm not going to say it. I don't. I, the roof don't leak! <laughs> Despite all the wind we have out here and the shingles that have been ripped off, you know? But um, I like the, these next couple of songs, and I... It's a weird plea, it's a weird thing to think about, but I've always had a desire to help people and, and want to 
make a difference in their lives. Um, it's so opposite of what the world does. It's so opposite, but it is so much better. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayer of my heart always be. Make me a servant. Make me a servant, make me a servant today. Make me a servant, humble and me. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak and make the prayer of my heart always be. Make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant today. Now, because this next one really goes into it a little bit more, because that was just really a chorus. Jesus, the Son of God, God incarnate in the flesh, could have come down as a conquering king, made, forced people to worship him. He did not. He came down, taught, healed, and ultimately gave up his life under false accusations. For us people, for all time, you, yeah, you, even you, especially you, you know, That's what a servant. He was King God of the universe. He didn't even have to become flesh. He could have sat up there and, and done things completely differently, and he didn't. And I dropped my pick. There we go. Luckily, I have a few more behind me. <laughs> you know. And he didn't. And that's what I think is amazing about Jesus. Um, could have done it all differently. But he chose to be a servant. He wasn't even born to a rich and noble family. He was born to a poor family. And he wasn't born even in a hospital of the time. Or even a nice hotel. He was born in a barn. And, and, and worse, he was... His first crib, his first baby bed, was the feeding trough. I mean, for crying out loud, how humble can you get? So, yeah. So, this this song, the opening line, is what, what gets me with all of that. A servant like you, dear Lord, living for others each day, humble and meek, helping the weak, loving in all that I say. servant's 
heart. Here's my life, take every part. Give me, Lord, a servant's heart. Draw me, draw so close to you, that your love comes shining through. Give me, Lord, a servant's songs I could use and talk to you about, but again, I wanted to keep it relatively short. I'm sure I've already done enough talking. This one, I had to refresh myself on. I tried to skim, like, no, I'm not ready for that one. I'm not ready for that one, God. And God's like, no, learn it. So, oh boy. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I hope it sounds good, but also I hope it, 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 it affects someone's heart. It, it helps someone out there who's going to be watching this video later. I mean, I'm broadcasting live right now, and, but... And normally I announce that, and I'm sorry. But on the other hand, not a lot of people watch it live. Most of the views come in afterward, so... Jesus made each star in heaven, He created earth and sea. He's the keeper of all knowledge, what is past and what will be. Yet He offers His great wisdom, so you will not lose your way. Like a lamp it glows every step it shows You can know His will each day Trust His Word Trust His Word All God's promises are true Trust His Word When your pathway disappears When your joy gives You're plagued with doubts and fears Trust His Word He is not a distant stranger He can be your closest friend He is always listening closely When you share your heart with Him Jesus walks the path beside you he has been there all along And He'll guide your feet when your step is weak And your strength is almost gone Trust His Word Trust His Word All God's promises are true Trust His Word When your 
your pathway disappears and your joy gives way to tears. When you're plagued with doubts and fears, trust his word. When your pathway disappears, when your joy gives way to tears, when you're plagued with doubts and fears, trust His Word. I know that not all my viewers um, share my faith. That's fine. Not all of you know Jesus, and some of you have been introduced to a Jesus that I don't recognize because you think of him as cruel or judgmental. He is holy, yes, but he's not those other things. He is not a distant stranger, as the song said. He's not. And he can be your closest friend. If he's a stranger to you, may I ask that you reach out to me or someone you trust tell you more about him. And this kind of goes on. I've done it before, but I felt like it fit with some of these other songs. It's a short little chorus, and I still have trouble figuring out where it's supposed to end. But, um... In, in all this and everything, God, he is a fortress... He is a shelter in the time of storm. He is the man who he is the one who owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Yeah. So I, I just I like this song. So You are my fortress. You are my hiding place In time of trouble I run to the rock and seek your face Though others fail me My dearest friend is always true Oh, how I love you You are my fortress I trust in you, you are my fortress, you are my hiding place, in time of troubles, I run to the rock and seek your face, though others fail me, my dearest friend is always true, oh how still kind of weird on how to figure that one out, but I'm going to get to the right page here. All right, song. You know, a lot of times we think we're misjudged or people don't understand us. And yeah, it's true. I mean, and despite, you know, the fact that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, He still loves us. He still did all of this. He, no, knowing, knowing we fall short, He still does all this stuff for us, and it's great. And I think this chorus, it, it's a great, uh, in spite of, in spite of the fact that when compared, you see, it's not that God made us like this. He actually made man perfect to begin with. But but we felt that's just reality, I guess. But I, I want you in the words of the chorus. We have no secrets our God does not know. Okay. 
and yet he still loves us. He still did all these wonderful things to redeem our souls and our lives. So, but I mean, it also shows it goes to show you know just I think of the story of David and Goliath when I think of this you know everyone was saying David you're tiny you're small what the heck are you thinking you know moron you're gonna t the entire Israeli army doesn't want to take this giant eye you're gonna do it ha huh. big yeah right G go ahead you went out there with no armor not even a modern weapon like a bow or a spear no no not even a sword he went out there with a sling that he uses he used to kill animal you know bears and tigers well, I'm sorry bears and lions when they came to kill his sheep and he took down a professional soldier so I think of that when you know man sees the outside but God God sees the heart that should be a, that should be a wonderful thing it really should Sorry, scammer calling. Let's just try that intro again. I God measures man by a standard divine, for he sees underneath, beneath every Outward design. He looks past possession and costly attire. He studies the heart, every thought and desire. For the eyes of the Lord are searching to and fro. No secrets that our God does not know. Our Father knows our thoughts, He understands every part. Oh, man sees the outside, but God sees the heart. Our God does not judge. By how tall we may stand, for how much we possess, or the rank we command. His gaze goes far deeper to things that endure. He honors the man who keeps his heart pure. Searching to and fro, we have no secrets that our God does not know. Our Father knows our thoughts, He understands every part. Man sees the outside, yes, man sees the outside. Oh, man sees the outside, but God sees the heart. A lot of times that song's I think meant to be a comfort when humans won't see see us the way God sees us and says we're not capable of doing something He's called us and wants us to do. Um, and that's just foolishness. You, know, you can't stop someone from doing what God wants them to do. God will find a way to do it one or the other, and you're going to be the one looking foolish. But also, I think it should be a comfort, because, yeah, God sees the wickedness also. He sees our potential and what little goodness we, we have, and He sees 
our wickedness and our sin still loves us, still wants, calls us to do good things, and still wants to be involved in our lives. So, this next one, a little, it's a little more, I don't even know how to describe it. A little more up tempo, I guess. Um, especially in this day and age. It's obviously an old problem. To be honest, I have, I have tried not to put my confidence and hope in politicians, because that's bad, because they're human. Whether you agree with them or you disagree with them, even politicians you agree with, don't put your faith in them. They will fail you. Of course, that's really not a hard concept to grasp these days. All of them stink. Left, right, center, don't matter. They're not doing any, us any favors. So I don't know about tomorrow. In fact, I'm fairly confident eventually our entire infrastructure is going to collapse and we'll be little better than a third world country. That's okay. What? That's okay? Are you nuts? That's okay. For me. For believers, yeah, we'll have a hard time. We'll probably complain. I'll probably have a bad attitude about it. I know I will. Especially since I think it could have been avoided and prevented. But the important thing to remember, and it's hard, believe me, it's hard, because I struggle with it all the time, is one, believers, Christians, we have hope. Sometimes that hope, that hope is for after we're gone. Okay. At least there's hope. At least there's an end. And But there's hope here on earth. Maybe not necessarily that the bad situation will get resolved. I mean, that's always what we want. But that even in the middle of it, we will have peace and contentment. The world is burning. It is falling around us. And we can be okay. It's the most backwards thing. It is, and it's the hardest thing to grasp. But not only is the Bible full of examples of people whose lives literally fell apart, but they were okay. But history is full of more examples. I've sung the song and I've shared the story of Horatio Spafford, who wrote, It is well with my soul, and everything in his life was telling him things are not okay. It is not well. And he said the exact opposite. It is well with my soul. And I pray a lot that God helps me be more like that, especially since it's one of the more popular songs. People like when I sing and share. I, I, I think I'm spirit-filled when I, I do that one, but good Lord, do I struggle with having that spirit and, and that contentment. So, here's a little, here's a song. That I think really applies to that, and I hope it's a good way to, good song to end on here. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day I don't borrow from its sunshine For its skies may turn to grey I don't worry or the future What my Jesus said And today I'll walk beside him For he knows What is ahead Many things About tomorrow I don't seem To understand But I know who 
approach tomorrow And I know Who holds my hand Every step Is getting brighter As the golden stairs are climbed Every burden's getting lighter Every cloud is silver lined There's the sun and it's always shining There no tear will dim the eye At the ending of the rainbow Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know who holds tomorrow And I know who holds my hand Tomorrow, it may bring me poverty, but the one who feeds the sparrow is the one who stands by me, and the path that be my portion. The flame and flood, but his presence goes before me, and I'm covered with his blood. Oh, many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow And I know who holds my hand so, yeah, There's a lot in this world I don't know and I don't understand there's even some things about God sometimes I can't answer. I know there's re reasons and all that, but I trust and have faith in Him when I can't understand. See, there's another song I've sung in the past called Trust His Heart. And that's what we got to do. We can't see. We don't know. Who can know the mind of the Lord? His ways are past finding out. He is so, you know, it's not hard to imagine someone who's thinking in ways are way above us. There's humans like that. So how can we not imagine a supreme God whose thoughts and desires and actions are even further above anything a human could come up with? And that's some pretty smart people out there. Really smart people. I know a lot of pastors who are Christians with doctorates. They're smart people. There's other smart people who disagree. That's okay. That's okay. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who holds tomorrow. And while I will struggle, and I'll probably continue to complain a little bit, in the end, I need these reminders. I really do. I think we a lot of us do. I know some people who, who live this. They get it. They understand it so much. Nothing phases them. I pray for a faith like that. I do, because I need it.
I am very discouraged. I am very upset with the way things are going for myself and people I care about. I actually don't see a lot of hope in this world. But there is Jesus, and he is the embodiment of hope. And I need these songs and these teachings to remind me of that. So thank you all. I will see you when I see you. I'm sorry for the irregularity and the lack of notice of these videos. It's just been harder with my weird work schedule. And God willing, God willing, that might change. I have an idea. I'm really moved for it. But I don't have the means to make it happen. So I'm, I'm hoping somehow, some way, it can happen. And it's going to be completely by faith, which is weird for me anyway, which is kind of, I guess, a bad thing. Doing stuff by faith should not be strange. But, yeah, just pray. I just hope things work. I want God to have his will. I want it to be for him, but honestly, I like my job. I love it. It's a good job. But there's something else I'd rather be doing. It's a, And it's work. It's not that it's not going to be work. But like Mr. Miyagi said, find a job you love, never work a day in your life. <laughs> um, I mean, I really love. I mean, I don't mind my job. No, I really don't. It's a good job. I would much rather be working in music and teaching and helping kids and stuff like that. So thank you, everyone, and I will see you whenever next time is, and I will try to do a better job of scheduling and, and notifying. Thank you.